ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! This is abomination that we needed just one virgin from 24 years old to dance in the village square seven times in order to appease the gods, but no virgin was found. Our ancestors are shamed. This is Alo. Alo. Abomination. As the Minister of Women Affairs in this kingdom, I am ashamed. Youths of this kingdom have ashamed our ancestors. No problem. I will bring my daughter, the princess. She will dance in the village square and appease the gods. Ibe. Abama. Ibe. My daughter. As a more, go with her. Now, we will consult the gods to review her virginity status. Consult the gods to review her virginity status. For what? No, tell me, for what? The Igwe gave us his only begotten daughter, the only virgin in this kingdom, for her to go and dance in the village square for our sins. And you are saying you want to find out first if she's a virgin. Are you saying the Igwe is lying? No. Oh, you are saying the princess is a bad child? Or you mean she's a market seller? No, that's not what I meant. Aye! Igwe SM1 has finished you. This Martin, he wants to report to the gods. For what? If the gods verify now and see something, the story may leak. Other gods of other villages will hear it. Before you know it, other gods will laugh at our gods. Igwe, arrest him! Igwe is giving us his daughter. Period! Let her go to the village square. Let DJ Neptune play music for her to dance. As a more, verify. Our gods should know that we are giving them a pure sacrifice. Igwe, this is not advisable. Ah, uh, Taga. Hmm. I saw a man kissing our princess. Eh? Ah, uh, Taga. The princess of Atagamanga Kingdom is not a virgin. My own daughter. Show me the man that defied my daughter. Who is he? <laughs>